third one is um, student success. Mm -hmm. And student success really is the alignment of their interest, their passion, to what the marketplace is asking for. Absolutely. And this us having the academic programming and the instructional design that delivers that. This generation is not all, all that keen on sitting in a classroom 24-7. They want to touch and feel. They want more experiential learning. Um, I think that we can create those opportunities uh, for them in, more, in a more abundant way that could drive their success. One of the things that I think is most important for the student-president relationship is that like a parent, you're present. <laughs> um, when I would go on vacation with my kids when they were much younger, uh, they would admonish me if I wasn't present, if I was on the phone yeah. or doing stuff that wasn't part of the vacation. And they'd say, Dad, we're on vacation. Oh, nice. you, you know, you're not supposed to be on the phone. And I'd say, you're right, you're right, I need to be present. Translated to your question, um, I really want to make sure that I'm present on campus. Um, while I do have to spend time away for all kinds of different things, um, regularly making sure that I'm uh, visible to students, whether it be in the CAF or at events, is really, I think, important. Uh, we don't want to play the game of where's Waldo, <laughs> where's the president. <laughs> we don't see him. We don't know who he is. I, I, I'm not going to go. allow that to happen. And so for our incoming, I want them to know they're coming to an amazing place that has amazing potential that they can help shape. For those who are returning, I want them to know that um, they haven't done their best work yet mm. and that we want to try to help them do that. It is a fascinating and yet tremendous responsibility to help another human being be the best version of themselves. Mm -hmm. And I think that's our job to do. That's the value proposition that our student learners are paying for. But it's that I know in this work that we do, the mental health and mental condition and the anxiety that many of our young people have to deal with because of everything that's coming at them is instructive for me. And as the president of the university, I have to see how I can incorporate that into the way we work and what we do and what kind of environment we build for our, our student learners and for our faculty and for our staff because quite frankly, everyone is affected. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and those two books right now, the one is probably more long-standing because it's, it's, it's so embedded in my DNA. Yes. The second one is instructive because it, I believe it's instructional for me and instructive to help me, help my staff and the team at our university embrace many of the things that our young people are experiencing and figure out ways that we can incorporate things that help them and give them an environment that they can be more healthier.